Welcome to the intricate dance of genes that establish body axes during gastrulation. This biological ballet is a marvel of nature. As cells signal the anteroposterior axis, genes express themselves for head formation, and the primitive streak initiates the formation of the dorsal and ventral mesoderm. So this process starts with gastrulation, a pivotal moment in the development of an embryo. Here's where the genes come into play, each with a unique role in this grand design. Let's meet them. The anteroposterior axis, our body's front-to-back reference line, is signaled by cells in the anterior visceral endoderm, or AVE, which express genes like OTX2, LIM1, and TSX1, key players in head formation. Then there's the primitive streak, maintained by the nodal gene, initiating the formation of the dorsal and ventral mesoderm. BMP4, secreted throughout, ventralizes the mesoderm while its activity is blocked by the node. Cordon, noggin, and folostatin counteract BMP4, dorsalizing cranial mesoderm. Meanwhile, nodal and HNF3B maintain the primitive streak and govern regional specificity. Brachyuri, or the T gene, controls dorsal mesoderm formation, vital for cell migration. FGF8 and PIDX2 establish left-sidedness, while lefty prevents left-sided signals from crossing over. And finally, serotonin and snail genes influence laterality and right-sided development, respectively. And so each gene performs its crucial role, directing the cells to their rightful places, establishing the body's axes. It's a complex process, isn't it? From gastrulation and the signaling of the anteroposterior axis by the AVE, to the crucial role of genes like OTX2, LIAM1, and Cerberus. We've delved into the formation of the dorsal and ventral mesoderm, the role of BMP4, and the antagonistic functions of cordon, noggin, and folostatin. We've taken a journey through the establishment of laterality, the influence of serotonin, and the less defined right-sided development. In the end, the establishment of body axes is a fascinating interplay of genes, shaping us into the beings we are. Until next time, keep wondering about the marvels of biology.